Hello guys, I haven't done a live type tutorial in a long time. This time we're going to do two or three coming up and I'm going to start simple by showing you how to make and save your own custom effects. As you can see, I just have a background laid in here so we can have something to look at. And I'm going to select my text track and I'm going to put in some text. Okay, here is my, my text. So we're going to um, just make this text blink on and off as a simple example. So I'm going to track, add new effect. And I'm going to drag my effect out the length of my text track. Now we have this new effect that doesn't do anything. I'm going to scroll about halfway through. And I'm going to go up to track and I'm going to add a keyframe. Now I'm going to go forward one more frame. And I'm going to track, add another keyframe. And on this keyframe with it still selected, I'm going to go to attributes and turn the opacity to zero. I'm going to go to my very last keyframe here. You can see it. And I'm also going to turn the opacity to zero. Now you can see what we got. We have our text and it just goes off. Okay. So I'm going to shorten the length of this. Make it shorter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. Go to attribute or timing. And I'm going to select loop. And I'm going to loop this a few times. As you can see when I loop it, it gets longer. Now, when I play this, my text blinks. If I want to make it faster, I just adjust my speed. But I like the looks of that, so I'm going to hit O. Now we have my blinking text. And I want to save this blinking text as an effect for later. So I'm going to go to Track, Save Effect. And then this little box will come up and you can name it. And you can aim the new, name it what you want. I named it um, Blink and then you can put a description in where you want to save it. You can choose an already existing category or you can choose a new category and name it yourself. And that's what I did. I called it Eric's Effects. And after I've done that, you can go up here to Effects. Under Effects, there'll be a new category of whatever you named. There's my Effects, Eric's Effects. And under Eric's Effects, there's my Blink Text um, Behavior. I can delete this effect now. Select my Text Track. Select my Blink Text Behavior we saved. Apply it and we have our blinking text and of course you can go in and adjust and modify your text I mean your uh, attribute as needed over here so now we have an, a new effects being called, called Eric's effects and the first custom effect I've built is called the blink text and I'm gonna work on building a library of custom effects and I'm gonna share them with you guys I hope you've learned something and we'll see you next time